paedophiles who want to be cool and hip. They're really trying to get down with the kids. A few more warnings. My laptop jokes are going to be very un-PC. And my dry skin jokes might be a bit sensitive. I was going to say a joke about murdering pigs, but I'm not going to because I might bore you to death. Last week I did a gig at an insect sanctuary and I was nervous before I went on stage. I was tensely excited. I had butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> I've, also got, I've also got a joke about cats and dogs catching rodents, but it's not great. Even by mice standards. <laughs> I nearly didn't make it this evening. I was at the train station and there was no one playing with a guitar or saxophone. But I looked at the notice board and there was a rescheduled replacement busk service. Hats. Well, I did eventually get to the train, it was been driven by cats. It was a poor service. <laughs> the other day I noticed that a parking attendant was bringing notice on my car. So I picked around over to him and I said, what are you doing? What is this for? He said, I'm giving you a ticket. I said, fine. He said, yes. <laughs> Did you go, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> the football has been on this week, so I've got a couple of football-related jokes. I saw in the training sessions that Wayne Rooney was aggressively attacking the opposition. He must have been in one of his foul moods. <laughs> and both the German and Irish teams came onto the pitch for lots of booze. Now, to be fair, both the country's drinks, national drinks, are beer. Some thoughts there. <laughs> I saw this Scottish bloke playing his country's national instrument in a public toilet. The bog pipes. <laughs> I've always found that Star Wars fans can be a little bit smelly. Maybe they have all got body Yoda. <laughs> In 2006, I made up five tyre jokes. That was a good year. <laughs> this bloke said to me, what's the world's biggest spider? I said, why don't you look on the web? <laughs> I saw a big, long vehicle transporting a heavy load of ice. An articulated lorry. Back to that. I had a fire once with Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, I grew up to a rocky start. <laughs> Talking of boxing, people who lose boxing matches. Now they're the ones in society who are hit the hardest. <laughs> in 2006, the famous actor and film director Guy Ritchie won an Oscar. In the same year, his then wife Madonna, she also got an Oscar, but she had to buy hers. From Africa. Uh, last year I went to Barcelona to see Spain's premier Chesney Hawks impersonator. He is the Juan and only. <laughs> I've actually got a Spanish friend who keeps forgetting where he parks his motor. His name's Carlos. <laughs> but when it's... When it's funny, that minute. Cheers. <laughs> I've just, created, I've just created a mobile phone application for animated fish who cannot locate a famous coffee chain. I've called it Finding Nero. <laughs> Bart Simpson didn't go to college. He was homeschooled. <laughs> I'm not going to go to Frank. I'm a Thank you.